Hi there guys, welcome back to the Fountain Channel and in today's video it's a bit of a belated video on my 24 hour uh, results for my Yarda coin but I thought I'd just go ahead and make a very, very short video just to go ahead and show you exactly how much I made within that period of time and you can, guys can go ahead and see whether it is worth uh, your time you know, or is worth your time going forward. Right, so before I go ahead and show you guys my earnings, let's have a look over at the difficulty and the hash rate uh, within the period of time uh, when I was doing the 24-hour video. So I actually started doing the video, I think it was around about the first up to the second or the second up to the third. So if we look over at the difficulty versus the price and we take ourselves back over to the second and third, as you can see, between the second and to the third, there was a huge spike and then there's also a huge dip as well. Now for myself, I believe that I started around about here on the first, around about here at the bottom bit and then it also then the price itself jumped up and then the difficulty as well obviously started to follow and follow suit since then now the hash rate has been up quite a bit there has been a few other crypto youtubers talking about i think rabbit miner was also talking about a bit of a yada coin because obviously like i said they're not actually uh, on listed on an exchange at the moment so you're not able to go ahead and sell these and like i said that's not correct for the two dollars on there so one of the reasons why uh, I stopped mining uh, the Yarda coin was purely because uh, there isn't anywhere to actually go ahead and sell this as of the moment. That, but that does not mean that it's not a cryptocurrency worth mining. Because sometimes when the exchanges open up and that pump uh, from lots of people buying and selling from going, you know, like even bots getting involved, you know, with those purchases, um, you know, that can make the price itself skyrocket. So sometimes grabbing these early coins before they're even listed on exchanges, sometimes those are the best ones that you can go ahead and grab. But uh, within that period of time, I was able to accumulate. 8.3 yarda coins now if i if i think correctly i was actually pulling around about 2.5 um, kilohash or something like that at the time so you know at the time um, the hash rate uh, should i say the difficulty was a little bit lower at the time and it was saying that i was going to earn i think if we uh, look back on the video i think it was saying around about 30 yarda coins and then you know the difficulty has increased at this specific point as well now um but it's saying higher there so i never trust minor stats calculator at this point going forward but all I can normally do is just go ahead and trust exactly uh, what I've received as far as coin value. And I didn't really specifically receive, uh, you know, quite a lot. Let's just go ahead and check on the Explorer for uh, the amount that I actually received. Let's see what it go ahead and says. So, so if it's, was that my address there? No, it's not. Let's go ahead and copy this address here. And then paste that into there. Uh, balance 8.3 yeah so that's exactly what came through so like i say it wasn't the most uh, profitable day for me by any means and then as you can see the the price as well from the second absolutely you know tanked uh, but it has it does show potential with the way that it's got these big chunks going like that uh, but that means also as well um you know there could also be you know market manipulation and things like that going on but as i say as i can't see that it's listed anywhere on any exchanges apart from this uh, safe trade here um let's just go ahead and open up and see what happens Yeah. So, I mean, potentially, maybe there could be uh, something going on. I mean, it doesn't seem like the order books are moving or anything like that at the moment, for sure. But, you know, like I say, um, no one knows what the potential future for these random uh, coins are. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out exactly how much that I earn in Yarda coin to USD. So in that period of time, I was actually able to earn three cents within that period of time. So that's not very profitable. So from going forward, uh, I'm probably going to jump on to some of the uh, more well-known cryptocurrencies such as like Raptarium, Bitorium, uh, Dero. Some of those cryptocurrencies are probably going to be the most profitable to be mining at this specific moment in time. And uh, then one thing I'd also recommend for you guys as well, if you do jump onto any, any of these cryptocurrencies, make sure that you're using the correct uh, mine so that you mine at its uh, highest potential and getting the most hash rate out of your equipment because one of the biggest issues that I see with a lot of people is they just jump onto uh, like a miner that they recognize uh, instead of sometimes you know jumping for the ones that could give them the most uh, payout for it now let me know guys did you guys go ahead and mine some Yarda coin did you watch this video and did you end up going and mining some did you have a better result on that day than I did um, that would be good to hear down in the comments to make sure you let me know so if we look over at safe trade as well like I was saying before about you know whether they've had any trade on there like I said I don't see any movement happening on there at the moment i do see that the orders uh that for the buying is is, is you know is, is capped up up there so maybe if it'd be some btc you probably go ahead and buy it but i'm not sure uh that anybody else is you know going ahead and buying it from the looks of it, it looks like it's just being so you know 
who knows what's going to happen in the potential future for this type of cryptocurrency but i do know for a guaranteed fact that sometimes jumping in you know at the early points and then get to these ones that jump up to you know over a few pence uh, those are the ones you really want to be involved in um, but it's hard trying to find them and then also uh, you know trying to accumulate enough up and then it does come down to that factor that you potentially could have been better off to physically buy more coins because you'd have been able to accumulate more within that period of time but you know as you can see there's there's other crypto youtubers that have said it themselves you know some people don't go like you know have uh, you know the means or the ability or they don't like to you know to put their money into uh, buying cryptocurrencies all the time um, and they prefer to go ahead and mine it because it's just a, a good way for them to accumulate and they've already got the equipment to do so and that's how i feel as well uh, i've heard brandon coin say that before um, and i also agree with that so like I say, if we if we see this, you know, the difficulty right now is extremely high. Uh, the market has pretty much dumped within the past, uh, you know, three, four days. Um, so for myself, I will, like I say, I won't be carrying on mining any Yarda coin. I'll keep hold of the 8.3 that I do have. Um, and then going forward, uh, like I say, I'm just going to keep, you know, mining onto some of the most uh, profitable coins at the moment. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other cryptocurrencies that you guys would like me to go ahead and check out. Because, um, like I said, there are some uh, interesting ones out there that I haven't looked at yet. I did see that there was Dynex coin. I may go ahead and consider looking at that. Right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about it. And let me know if you did go ahead and mine some Yada coin. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. And potentially, if you, you know, been here for a while and you appreciate my content, go ahead and hit that join button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.